Hey guys, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect plant-based weight loss, and today is Tuesday, and that's the day when I like to give you tips and tricks for making this healthy life a little bit easier, a little bit more fun. And today my tip is how to keep from overeating on Thanksgiving. You know, one thing that we all love about plant-based eating is that we don't count calories, we don't count carbs, we don't count fat grams, we don't count all that stuff. What we do is we eat to the left of the red line, so we only eat health-promoting foods, putting a lot of emphasis on vegetables, on fruits, um, whole grains without gluten. If you can um, avoid the gluten grains, that's the best a lot of beans and a lot of uh, nutritious things like quinoa, um, which is really a seed that seems like a grain. <clears throat> but we're also taught to just eat until comfortably full. And for a lot of us, Thanksgiving and just even variety, like a potluck or a party or um, a buffet, all these things that you might find yourself encountering in the holiday season, all of these things are going to be, um, you know, triggering for you. They can make you eat more than you would normally eat and eat past being comfortably full. And so to avoid that, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for things that I do. The first thing is to do with plate size. So I'm going to fill up this plate not this plate, okay? And the thing is that studies have shown that you will eat everything that's on your plate. Um, and I, I understand that. I'm, I'm a person that'll eat everything she puts on her plate. But by using the smaller plate, you're actually going to um, choose more carefully, choose the things you're actually gonna enjoy, and have and be more satisfied because you're gonna feel like you're getting a full you know portion of the stuff and then um, there's another thing that I think is a helpful tip for that is the four bite rule and that is the uh, sci medical science says that the first bite is what's going to give you the big dopamine hit and you're gonna have that hit to your taste buds you're really gonna enjoy your first bite of your healthy food and then the second bite is gonna be okay, but not as good. The third bite, again, not as good. And by the fourth bite, you've gotten everything out of it that you're gonna get from it. Like it's not, you're not even gonna be registering the tastes on your taste buds. At that point, it's just automaticity and the chewing takes over. So I would say take a small portion and, and start with four bites and have four bites and enjoy everything on your plate and then if you know, um, and then you could have more bites of it, whatever. But I, have, I also like to tell myself one and done. You have one, you know, why are we eating more than one dinner, really? If you eat more than one dinner, you're gonna double your calories. So just fill your plate once and really enjoy it. Eat slowly, put your fork down in between um, your bites and have nice conversations with people around the table okay so the proportion um, the the size matters um, can be helpful for you the other way too so this is a typical salad bowl that came with my dish set or whatever but you should eat your salad or your veggies out of a bigger bowl again I can put a lot more salad in this bowl and it's not going to feel like um it, it won't make me feel overwhelmed um i'll still feel like i'm eating one bowl of salad and so you want to encourage yourself by using a bigger bowl for things that you want to have more of like steamed vegetables um salads all those kinds of things and then um a smaller plate for things that are more starchy, right? And then um, a small bowl for things like soup and stew and chili that can have a lot of, can pack a lot, you know, can still pack a lot of concentrated calories in all those delicious starches that are so good for you. But we, we only wanna eat till we're comfortably full. And then 
when everybody else is groaning around the table because they've overindulged and they're feeling terrible and they're going to wear those five to ten pounds that they're going to gain um, for the rest of the you know holiday season and and, and maybe the the rest of the year or you know there's a lot of studies that say that weight that is gained during the holidays is not ever taken back off so if you even take off between even if you um, put on you know three to five pounds that's going to compound year after year and so you really want to avoid that you want to be the smart one at the table um so hey when it comes to uh, enjoying your food size matters get more of the stuff that you want get less of the stuff that might be more calorically dense and only eat till you're comfortably full you'll thank yourself on friday and you'll feel so much better i hope that you have a wonderful holiday with your family and your friends and that you think about all the things that you're thankful for and i hope that you know that i'm extremely grateful for you and for watching this channel um, and I want to bring you more awesome tips and tricks in the new year next year and throughout the holiday season. We're going to get through it together. We can do this. All right. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.